Kelsey here. So today I'm doing a old school type of video. I'm doing an empties video and I've been saying a few people request these. Some of you have been messaging me saying that you want us to bring empties videos back and I know a couple of YouTubers still do them but not a lot. They were some of my favorite videos to watch back in the day so I'm glad that some of you guys requested that we start back doing them. So I do have a good amount of products to talk about today and if you don't know what an empties video is it's just pretty much me going through some trash and sharing with you products that I've completely finished using and I'm gonna let you know whether I would repurchase it or recycle it. Okay, so the first empties I'm just gonna mention as one because technically it's the same thing but different formulations, I guess. So this is a goat milk foaming milk bath. So you basically just pour this into the bathtub. Kendra and I mentioned this in our Amazon favorites, our very first one that we did. And Kendra put me onto these. If you take a lot of baths, I highly recommend these. Well, more so this one than this one. I'll talk about that in a minute. But my skin feels a lot softer when I get out of the bathtub after using this. Because if I just use regular bubble baths, my skin is kind of like dry and feels kind of like uncomfortable when I get out of the bathtub. But I feel like this helps my skin to not be as dry after I get out of the bathtub because I take super hot baths. And hot water is very drying to your skin. It's not good for your skin. This just really helps combat that so I can still take my hot baths and not get out with super dry skin. Now this one is the olive oil formula. So this one is the olive oil and this is the oatmeal one. So I prefer the oatmeal one over the olive oil one. You can try whichever one you think you would like. But I just prefer the oatmeal one. First of all, it smells way better. And I just noticed, oh my gosh, it smells so good. And I just noticed that my skin just feels better after using this. The olive oil one is good, but it's not like amazing. The oatmeal one is like a game changer for me. These you can get on Amazon, obsessed with the oatmeal one. I will continue to repurchase this forever and ever and ever. And the olive oil one, not so much. Not gonna repurchase the olive oil one. It was, it was good, but not great, like I said. Okay, so next I also have another pair of products. And I'm sure you guys have seen this for years and years and years on YouTube, well, at least the yellow one. This is the Dickinson's Witch Hazel. Like the past maybe year and a half, they've come out with two more, and this is one of the other ones that they've come out with of their astringents. Um, I always love the original, the Pore Perfecting one. It's just like a no-brainer. Like it doesn't break me out, it doesn't irritate my skin. It's just the overall really great toner. Now I'm not super picky when it comes to witch hazels in general. I use this one. I use the Dickinson's one that comes in like the square, like rectangle, taller bottle. I use that one. I use Thayer's Witch Hazel. Well, Thayer's I'm a little bit more picky. I just like the rose one from Thayer's because I don't really like the original or the lavender. So Thayer's, I just stick with the rose one. But as far as the Dickinson's brand, I really can't tell a huge difference between this one and the other one. I'll put a picture right here. Like both of these work the exact same to me. But this one, the blue one is the deep cleansing one. And this one is for oily skin types. And I have oily skin, so it just says it dissolves oil and clears pores. So this is great for morning time for me. I like to use this one at night sometimes if I'm not using my Obagi Salicylic Acid Toner. So I like to use this um, more so at night. I'll use it sometimes in the morning, but this one is great for morning time if you have oilier skin for like your T-zone area because I always get oily in this area. And it also has a really nice like cooling feeling. Um, it says enhance with cooling menthol and eucalyptus to help penetrate deep into pores, extracting blemish causing dirt and oil. And this is the extra strength formula. So if you have oily skin, um, I recommend giving this a try. I really, really like this a whole lot. They also have a pink one that is hydrating. So that is for drier skin types. So you can give that one a try if your skin is more on the drier side or if your skin gets dry during the colder months, you can try the pink one. But these two, I just stick with because my skin is more combination oily. So these are great if you have skin similar to mine. So I will repurchase both of these. Of course, the original. I've been using this original one for like, almost 10 years like a long time okay so going along with skincare this is a face wash you guys probably can't see it that well because my lighting is like kind of bright but this is a caudalie foaming cleanser this is their instant foaming cleanser with moisturizing grape and purifying sage and i used this for like maybe two months 
just because I didn't want to waste it and I was trying to just use it up just to, you know, because I already knew within the first month that it was just okay. And I couldn't take it back to the store because I had almost like finished it. This made me realize that I'm not the biggest fan of foaming cleansers. I prefer gel cleansers and cream cleansers. Those just work better for my skin. Foaming cleansers to me, for my skin, they kind of like don't really do anything. Like I feel like I have to wash my face again after using a cleanser like this. So it just comes out like a foam. That's pretty much what a, what a foaming cleanser is. But I feel like some cream cleansers kind of turn to foam. I don't mind those. If it comes out as a cream and turns into foam, I don't mind that. But like these kind that come out as like foam, I don't really like on my skin. It's kind of like me putting air on my skin. It's low key like equivalent to me not liking mousse for my curly hair. Yeah, that's a good analogy. Like it just, it's like air. Like I'm just wasting my time, honestly. So I was not impressed with this and I like Caudalie. It's like one of my favorite skincare brands, but I did not like this foaming cleanser. So I would not repurchase this. So the next product is another cleanser, but this is an oil cleanser. And you guys have heard me talk about this so many freaking times. This is from Dermalogica. This is their pre-cleanse. And I use this to remove my makeup and this by far is like probably my top three like in my top three of oil cleansers this and my shiseido are my top two for cleansing oils and then number three is probably the kills midnight recovery cleansing oil so those are my top two cleansing oils but this one has fastly become my number one it just gets my makeup off so freaking fast and i've gone through like maybe five bottles of this already uh, and it smells so good. I like the smell a lot. It doesn't irritate my skin. It just gets the job done super fast because when you wear a lot of makeup, you don't want to take forever to get your makeup off and you don't want it to be an all day process. And I feel like this just helps to speed up the process because I'm not big on makeup wipes. If I do use a makeup wipe, it's because I'm in a rush or I'm out of town. So I just prefer to go with an oil cleanser when I'm removing my makeup. And sometimes I'll even use this if I'm not wearing makeup. Like if I had like a long day like out running errands or something or if I've been in the sun all day and I've been sweating this just helps to get off that like first layer of oil and dirt before you go in and use your regular cleanser so you can even use oil cleansers even if you don't have makeup on it's just really good to double cleanse like if you have not been double cleansing your skin I don't know what you've been doing that probably could be the one thing in your skincare routine that's a game changer because cleansing your skin I feel like it's the foundation to having clear vibrant skin so try an oil cleanser this one is my favorite it's amazing so i think that's all the skincare products that i have because i normally don't go through skincare products like super fast just because like serums and stuff i only use like maybe like a few drops so it takes me longer to get through those but like toners and cleansers i go through pretty fast so i'll just start saving those and let you guys know what i think of them but my skin has been doing a thousand times better I literally have one pimple on my face currently and it's hormonal because you know that time of the month is it's coming so but other than that my skin is it's doing great okay still on the skin topic but now I'm more talking about body products for skin this is a lotion and it's so funny I had this in in with like our hair products for like the longest time because I just assumed this was a hair product this is why reading is fundamental and I should have read this and I'm so glad that I did not put this in my hair because it's a lotion. This is from the main choice. And the reason I thought this was a hair product because the beauty supply store that I bought it from, this was in the hair section. So I just assumed it was a hair product. So it was kind of confusing for me and like Shea Moisture and like the main choice, you have to be careful and make sure you read their products and make sure you're not putting a body product in your hair because some of their packaging kind of looks the same. So please read people because you don't want to be putting lotion in your hair, okay? But this is the Tropical Moringa Intense Moisture and Soothe Oil and Lotion Fusion. This stuff is absolutely amazing. I'm going to order some more of these online in bulk because I haven't seen them in any other store. So I'm just going to order it online. This lotion, like when I started using this lotion, I did not pick up any other body butter or lotion under my sink. Like I kept using this. It smells amazing, first of all. I mean, it's the main choice. All her products smell bomb. And I noticed my skin was just so, like, glowy and radiant and, of course, moisturized. And I like that it's a lotion, but it leaves your skin moisturized like a body butter would. Because 
sometimes I stray away from lotions because I feel like they don't keep me moisturized that long like I'll be moisturized for like 30 minutes and then I feel like I'm not you know that glowy anymore but this leaves your skin super moisturized without you having to use a thick butter and like spending all day rubbing it in so yeah it also has natural antioxidants and phytonutrients in it it just says recommended for daily use rejuvenates and restores dry skin improves and maintains skin elasticity relieves and protects um long lasting moisture i just said that <laughs> i didn't even know it said that it, it leaves your skin moisturized for longer periods of time and it also says it instantly hydrates and moisturizes it also has vitamin a in it as well and vitamin a is great for um, cell turnover like as far as your face because I use a retinoid right now and that's pretty much what vitamin A is and it's just good to keep your skin nice and radiant and glowing and nice and even this is probably gonna be like my new favorite lotion like ever obsessed okay so next moving on to some hair products this is so nasty I have hair in this I don't know if y'all can see that because I used this in the shower and then when I had like a little bit of shedding I just put it in here it's kind of nasty but whatever real life people this is the main choice peach black tea and vitamin fusion conditioner this you can use if you're wearing your hair curly if you're straightening your hair that's how they like promoted it when it first came out but i use this only to co-wash because i try using this as a like a leave-in type product because you guys know like me and Kendra have been doing that for years using rinse out conditioners and stylers and I tried to do that with this but it didn't give me enough hold but this is a great conditioner for co-washing and it makes your hair smell like a dream like if you like peach scented things then you will love this to co-wash especially in the shower because I've been uh, doing my hair in the shower more now because I use African black soap on my back and that helps with any back breakouts so my next curly hair video y'all probably see me co-washing in the shower and plus i feel like my hair is getting too long for the kitchen sink it's too long this like the smell intensifies even more in the shower from like the steam this is just like the scent is just incredible it smells so so good so this has been one of my favorites for co-washing i wish this came in bigger packaging like a big pump and i can just like only co-wash with this because it just smells that good and the smell lingers in your hair too like if you don't rinse it all the way out so i will repurchase this for co-washing okay so on to another conditioner this is from ogx i love ogx one of my favorite drugstore brands this is their strength and body bamboo fiber full conditioner so this pretty much has protein in it so it's supposed to help your hair from any breakage i can't really say i saw a significant difference when i co-wash with this for like maybe like a good three weeks because when i'm using a specific conditioner like to co-wash i'll just stick with that one for like a good three weeks just to see how my skin my skin just to see how my hair reacts to it and honestly with this i didn't see like a huge like improvement in my hair so i probably wouldn't repurchase this um as far as the ogx products i just like really like their coconut conditioners the milk coconut one with the egg protein in it that's like one of my favorite ones and i think the other one is in white packaging too but it has like colorful words on it i can't remember the name of that one i like that one too the other coconut one so this was okay i would not repurchase and then the last product that i have in here is a deep conditioner this is from curls i've been using this mask for like three years maybe this is the blueberry bliss reparative hair mask one of my favorite hair masks it smells so freaking good it really really helps with the integrity of your hair it doesn't just smell good but it actually helps with the overall health of your hair this also has no sulfates no silicones no parabens no artificial oils colors or fragrances i will be repurchasing i usually get my curls products from target but she's pretty much in like every beauty supply store that i've been in her as well as um the main choice um products they're in like pretty much you know every other beauty supply store so i love this mask it's bomb I've been um, trying out more masks recently just because I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone of using the same mask because I feel like when it comes to deep conditioners, I'm a creature of habit and I just gravitate towards the same ones. But I'm trying to try different ones to let you guys know if I like them or not. So we'll see because I just started using one from Camille Rose and I'll let you guys know how I like that one. But yeah, this one is a bomb. Okay guys, that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you want Kendra and I to start doing 
more empties now we can start doing them maybe like every other month just to give us some time to like use up products because I don't go through products super super fast but I do miss doing them and I hope I recommended some products that you guys may want to try in the future and if you already use some of these products let me know in the comments so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see y'all next time